Disney, Di Cap and Candy, Disney, and Lucasfilm. It just seems that you just don't understand your own fucking universe. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Novel revealed Palpatine was a clone. Something that in the weeks was already dead. But of course, Cap and Candy and Lucasfilm and Zazo Abrams and the rest of the team at Disney Star Wars realize that they have to hide all of the plot lines. You have to buy extra novels. Really? This is a plot line you could have easily said in the movie, okay? It's just absolutely just stupid that Disney and the Rise of Skywalker still continues to find a way into everybody else's minds. The Rise of Skywalker, everybody wants to stop thinking about this movie, but this dumb stuff keeps making headlines that can't seem to escape. The latest update comes from the novelization for the Star Wars Final Skywalker film made by Ray Carson. The novelization of the Star Wars movies often more simply translating the script from screen to page, and often as more detailed to the story of the film can elaborate or they do it with every movie basically. And now with the why the Sky Walker just confirmed very important fact that the Palpatine we saw Final Big Bad the final film was not his original version but his daddy clone. Something they could have easily put in the movie. But of course Kath and Caddy, Lucas from Disney and everybody who made the, who made this movie were too lazy to explain the fucking movie, okay? It, it isn't rocket science to explain a goddamn movie, okay? People are like, oh my god Movie set sequel unreasonable, but you know they'll get. But you know, why the Skywalker still makes a billion dollars, but the plot is completely garbage. Just like Captain Marvel and just like Transformers, made by Michael Bay, they can't explain anything throughout the movies. So you know, they say, "Oh, big fast action scene you have to see." You know, that's all people want to see, a big, fancy action scene, but you can't explain the fucking plot of the movie. Okay, you can't explain why Palpatine is back, but now it took us. One month, two, three months basically, two months actually, to explain how Palpatine came back. The movie made a billion dollars, the movie, they could have just, hey, oh, we, they could have just put it in the movie to begin with. This is just so irritating when you have to deal with some, a company that doesn't care about its fans. And this movie is just a disaster. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker is one of the worst, is the worst selling of the pre sequel trilogy. It's the second worst selling Star Wars movie adjusted for, you no. Know, of the Disney Star Wars, it's just a fun face of course. You know, it is one of the worst selling Star Wars movies, and it is the final movie in the Skywalker saga, and no one went to go see it. It just shows that Star Wars is a dead franchise, that nobody cares about this franchise, because uh, because all the people who cared about this franchise left because Catherine Kennedy ruined it. And now, the only people who are talking about it are the people who are making fun of Star Wars, making fun of the best that Catherine Kennedy and Lucasfilm made. Goodbye.